more Chinese. Book three, unit one. Hi, this is Michelle from TechMandarin.com. Today's keyword is umbrella. Sun, sun. China is believed to be the home of umbrellas, which are still universally used in the country. The Chinese umbrella is not only beautiful but also have an abandoned cultural connotation. I think the ancient Chinese umbrella is more romantic and more elegant compared with modern umbrella. A lot of classical love happened under the umbrella in the Chinese ancient times. For example, White Snake's biography. You can imagine such a romantic scene: Asian town plus dreamland plus Chinese umbrella plus Chinese beauty. Wow, what a fun, romantic, and classical impression this is! In Shanghai, umbrellas can be found in such places as big shopping centers, supermarkets, and online shops. Or you can also go to Wanping Road to buy the Chinese famous brand Paradise Umbrellas. The wind has blow your umbrella inside out again, or your umbrella is torn, and you have decided to fix it. There are two places you can repair your umbrella. The first place is at Pudong New District. Another one is on Gongkexing Road. It is raining outside, but you've forgotten to bring an umbrella. Here are some useful sentences for you. For example, if you want to borrow an umbrella, you can say, 你带伞了吗 And 我可以和你用一把伞吗 That is to say, do you have an umbrella? May I share it with you? At present. The yellow long-handled umbrellas will be available for subway passengers to borrow at Century Avenue Station Online too. People can return the umbrellas at any station in the city. Passengers who want to borrow an umbrella need to register their telephone numbers at the station service center. Metro employees would contact individuals who haven't returned umbrellas within seven days, and this service will be extended to other lines in the future. Okay, let's review today's words: umbrella, sun, sun. That's all for today. See you next time.